Last week I showed you how to build this ultra high gain antenna on MetaCafe. There are a few drawbacks to this antenna. It's quite big, so it's a bit clumsy to drag around, has to be aimed carefully, is not very sturdy and is difficult to make weatherproof. I want to show you how you can make an antenna with half the gain but without the drawbacks. It should be enough for most applications since it's still three times more powerful than a standard antenna. You'll need a 12 by 12 cm piece of brass, a semi-rigid coaxial cable with an SMA connector at the end, you can get them at eBay, some 1.5 square millimeter wire and an old Tupperware box. You start by drilling a hole in the middle of the brass plate that is just big enough to fit the semi-rigid cable through. Cut the outer conductor and the insulation of the semi-rigid away, leaving 3 mm of the inner inductor. After the stripping the 1.5 square millimeter wire, it can be used to fold the antenna in a double square pattern with 32 mm legs. I've printed the pattern so it's easy to bend the wire on top of it. Stick the semi-rigid through the metal plate until its center conductor is 18 mm above it and solder it to the plate. Make sure it's nicely perpendicular. The center of the double square has a continuing wire and two wires with open ends. The continuing part is soldered to the outer conductor of the semi-rigid, while the open parts are soldered to the center conductor. Make sure the wire is nicely parallel to the plate. After gluing the plastic box to the plate to protect the antenna, you're done. To connect it, you can use the same trick I used in my other antenna movie. You just have to add a BNC to SMA converter you can buy in electronic stores, or mount an SMA connector directly like I did. Let's compare a normal antenna to this new antenna. The normal antenna picks up 9 access points, the new antenna sees 24 access points. You now have two Wi-Fi antennas, a very powerful one that gives you top performance and a compact, medium-powered, robust one that you can use virtually everywhere.